So if this bar closes down and then we continue lower, the close of the next bar to the downside is probably where I would enter the short. Um, that gives me enough room to get a nice target before we get to this minor DPTL. However, not much room before we get to the um, before we get to the 50 XMA. So we could end up with a little bit of a sluggish move. So I do have a short on the table now, and this is the <clears throat> taking the short from this extreme signal over here once it qualified with a downsloping action line. So there are things I like about this, but you know, there's also quite a few things I'm not all that fond of. Um, we'll just we'll see how it plays out. Some of the things I like is the quality topping price action, nice downside divergence. We uh, are getting into the trade after breaking out below the prior pivot low. These are all good things. But what I don't love is that we have zero momentum, very sluggish. The 50 XMA can act as an intrinsic support area, so it could cause things to move more sluggishly. What I'm hoping is on the breakout of this prior pivot low that we do get a momentum push to the downside and just quickly get to a target. So we'll see what happens. There's three or four times as many contracts at 62 at 86.62 as on a normal price level. So a lot of people are putting their, you know, looking at that breakout of the prior pivot level also. And if we are, if we do jam down through that level, we could hopefully get a little bit of momentum that takes us more quickly to a win. We'll see. More quickly than the lack of momentum we've been seeing over the last 10 minutes. Make that 15 minutes. Okay, quick fill. Like to see some quick follow through. Pretty good. Trading. There we go. Oh, come on. Keep it going. We got right to that 50 XMA, guys, and some buyers came in. We got right to that 50 XMA, and some buyers came in. Obviously, I would have much rather just gotten to the profit target instantly, but this is still a pretty decent, having broken out below, this is still a pretty decent area, and I will still average into the trade, albeit, you know, I like things to happen quick and easy. Would have much rather have just gotten there really fast. And we almost did. Almost gave us our quick, easy winner. But it looks like we're going to possibly have to work for this one a little bit more. Said, I'm not real excited about having to work for this more because the breakout wasn't quite big enough or clean enough for me to believe that this market may not want to go higher still. So we'll see what happens. We got the NASDAQ trying to come lower. Not so much on the Russell. 6E is backing off a little bit. So I'm going to take some of my profit off here if I can get it from the average in. And that will lessen the uh, negative impact if, in fact, this trade does not end up going higher. Well, it looks like we might have some trouble on this one. Come on, baby, take it down. Look at our, our slow pulse still 
wants this market to push down a little bit, but not convinced it's going to happen here. So I'm going to try to take a graceful exit. If we get another dip, I'm going to try to take a graceful exit here and minimize the damage. If not, that's okay. So our first losing trade of the week. What's a little frustrating by it for me is the fact that we almost got our target right out of the gate. That doggone 50 XMA gave us a, a problem there. Okay. So, you know, we're going to have them. And having that be the first one of the week, I'm not going to complain too much. So let's stay focused here. And we may get another opportunity to, to get a win or two uh, before we come to uh, wrap up on the day.